Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you transform your expertise and life experience into a brand story that connects and sells. Today, I wanted to talk about the subject that seems to be plaguing most of the entrepreneurial world, at least that which I see on Facebook. And that is having consistent clients, having a consistent income, and making it every month. This is also referred to as the entrepreneurial roller coaster. You know, some months you're like rocking out, and some months you're just not. And so we want to get you off of that roller coasters because uh, I haven't ridden one in a long time, but roller coasters are um, quite scary. And the worry about it every month is keeping you stuck and broke. So we want to get you out of that. So I came up, and I'm sure there's more, and I may actually mention more, but I came up with five reasons why you may be stuck in this on this entrepreneurial roller coaster. And so I'm going to talk about them and I'm going to talk about how you can fix this all and see if any of these apply to you. So if you want and if you uh, would be so kind, if you could share this with someone who you know might be struggling uh, on the entrepreneurial roller coaster. There's a button down at your bottom left. You just press that and you can share this with a friend. So the first way or reason why you're not getting consistent clients is that you've told yourself a story. You've told yourself a story about not being able to get clients to make money and to, um, to be able to make an income. You've told this story so much that you don't actually recognize it as a story. You just think that it's your truth when you wake up every day. I can't get clients. Why do I not have clients? Why can't I make money? Oh, there I go again. No clients this month. Or, wow, I only got one client this month. You, you tell yourself this story every day. And Joel Olstein told Oprah that when you send out a wish, or otherwise known as an intention or a story, it's like saying uh, a wish to God that uh, you're, like if you go, I'm so fat, I'm so fat, God says, all right, here's why you're so fat. And he's going to tell you a million reasons why you're fat. You're going to tell your brain you're fat, and then you're going to actually do things that will keep you fat. Same thing goes with money. I can't get clients. I don't know how to make money. And then uh, what ends up happening is that uh, God says, wow, okay, you can't make money or get clients. And he's like, bam, there's your wish. When you tell yourself a story, this is actually what happens in your brain is that we have, uh, there's 11 million bits of information going on at any given time. In any moment, right now, your cells are popping, there's noises outside, trucks are driving by, um, you know, there's a ding on Facebook. But we as humans can only recognize 40, four zero. That means that if you are telling yourself this story, I can't get clients, I can't make money, um, I can't seem to get consistent clients, and you tell yourself that story over and over again, the 40 bits of information that you're focused on is not being able to get clients. So what ends up happening is that all of the other information that you actually need to go and find clients so this would be some, doing something possibly different than what you're doing now to stay stuck in your story. All those possibilities, you can't even see them because you're only focused on how I cannot get clients and you, you're stuck in the places that you are. You're doing the marketing that you think that you're supposed to be doing and all the other opportunities, you don't even see them. That's called a block. 
So, you know, we've heard everyone say, you know, even money blocks. Money blocks, you know, the way people are teaching it is very, in, in my belief, is very, um, they don't, it, that's just like a dumb word because most people don't get it. But a block means that you literally are blocking your view from having other opportunities come to you because you're so stuck in your story. So we need to change that story. That story needs to be, I can get clients. These are how many clients I need to get. And right now, I'm just going to focus on my next client. Because on the other side, the other story you tell yourself, I need to get 20 clients this month. I need to get 20 clients this month. I need to make, you know, $50,000 this month. Do you really have to make that? Because what ends up happening is that you've set a goal so high that's not even in your realm of possibility. And now you've literally told your subconscious mind a story that you don't even believe to be true yourself. And so, again, that block happens and you freaked yourself out in the process and you lose your confidence. When you don't have confidence, you can't sell. And you know why? Because you lack the positioning you need to have the influence over others. You lack the positioning when you lack confidence and doing things like setting a goal that you don't even need to achieve, that you don't, your mind doesn't even believe you can. Do you see what happens? So I call that your magic number. You set a goal that helps you pay your bills plus a little, then you understand how to break that down, how many clients you actually need to get a week. Are you able to make that income goal with that many clients and the amount that you charge? I'm going to get into the financial aspect in a second. The second way or reason why you're not getting consistent clients is that it's called the word free. So I'm going to talk about it in two ways. There is a give and take to life. It's like this loop of like give and take, give and take. And so the first way, you know, I'm sure we're all aware of like free, freebie opt-in, free marketing, free videos, free information. And you end up not understanding what it is you're supposed to give away for free and what you're supposed to charge for. So the word free becomes your new way of being. I need to give this away for free so that I can get some clients. I need to give this away for free. And, and you, you don't understand the value of who you are and what your work is, what you actually are charging money for. And then on the other side, you're trying to uh, get help for free. You're trying to learn from Facebook groups. You're trying to uh, not spend money because, you know, the story here is I don't have money. I don't have money. So you try to uh, either underpay people or find people that, um, that undervalue themselves or, you, or you're trying to learn for free. And what I'd like to say is that when people aren't willing to spend money to make money, it's like a block because you then expect people to pay you money, but you aren't willing to pay somebody else. And again, your value and your perce perception of your value of yourself drops. Money is the exchange of energy. And that means that when you don't understand this energy that is exchanged, then you undervalue yourself. You know, everyone says like, invest in yourself. I don't mean go spend a million dollars on yourself, but if you know you need good help and then you're, try you're trying to find like cheap help or you're trying to do it for free, and then you wonder why you're not having consistent clients when you're trying to spend all day on Facebook because you think you're learning from it, or you don't want to pay somebody to help you Build your business. Or as a VA, you need help. 
Do you need help? Would that, would that help you make more money? You need to understand the value of this give and take. I'm not woo-woo, but that's the way life works, is that there's a, an energy cycle that goes on. So free, this in and out of free, you need to really understand what's going on in your own mind, the way you operate. Who are you paying? Are you paying people? And is that why people aren't paying you? The number three thing, so this may be a little controversial, but I, I very, you know, because my clients, you're highly intelligent and you have a lot of expertise, I just, I recommend that you don't do this because it, it really um, dumbs down your value. And that's called the low value marketing. You know, a lot of people say, you know, you need to sell something for like $10 or, you know, sell something for $27. And then, you know, you funnel people in and then you give them this like thing that, that for $27 and they're going to see your value and then want to pay you $5,000. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, this is, and this is again is my opinion. But if you are a person of high value and you have major like skills and something that solves an urgent problem for people and you think that somebody's going to see that high value from a $27 item and you think that that then is going to get them interested, what that does is that it dumbs down your value. Not even necessary to the other person, but to yourself. Because you just price yourself at $27. And I know my clients, and you have a lot of, you, you're, you're not going to put out something shoddy. So you actually put out something that's like amazing, and then you dumb it down with a price that like, write a book or something. Put it into something of, um, of value. Or give it away for free. Show everything that you know in your free marketing and then you charge like you charge for your services and products. This is so important is that you need to understand that every action, every thought that you have in your head translates to your own perception of yourself, which then translates into the actions that you take and the price that you charge and the people that you interact with and how you interact with them, it all starts here. And it subconsciously works its way out. And so if you offer something of low value and inside it makes you feel like you're, you're, you're giving something away that you value and you know is of value, you just have told yourself that you're not valuable. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to, it's going to come out in so many different ways and then it just feeds on itself. So do that if you can separate it, but I, I tell you to not because you don't need to do that. You're of high value and you can do your marketing. That's called marketing strategy. And then the other, charging for your services and products. Okay, the, let's see, I'm on the fourth. The fourth thing is that you need to have money goals. I know that's, you're like, oh, duh, you know, I'm going to make, you know, $250 million. You need to have three streams of income. Number one is your active income. So, you know, somebody asked me today in a Facebook, I posted this and somebody asked me in a Facebook group today, you know, I have a membership program. Is that my active program? You, uh, your active income? Your active income is the money that pays your bills and your rent. This is whatever you sell, you need to have this active income so that you can count on being able to pay your bills every month. So... What I help my clients do and what I consider my active income is my signature program, Discover Your Genius. 
It's the positioning system you need to get your business from start, you know, from, from re, uh, from transforming your story into your brand story to transforming your expertise and life experience into your brand story. And then I teach you your marketing and then we develop your system, whatever it is that is your active income. It needs to be your active income. You need to be marketing it every day. It needs to be the one thing that's going to pay your bills. It needs, you need to know every month that you're going to have your bills paid. Then you need to have like some sort of passive, in, excuse me, passive income or like a book or something that, that, that is bringing in the additional income. And then your third goal, it may not be making you money now, but that's called your long-term income goal. So, you know, let's just say you have like a signature program and in, you know, your long-term goals that you want to have like a, a school or something. So you should be working on that every day. That calms your um, impatient mind. <laughs> a lot of my clients are impatient because you want your success now. That then you're working on this long-term goal while you have your active income and your passive income. And it's all working as a machine. Then you know exactly the things that you need to do every day to have your consistent clients. You're not like sitting there going, oh, I can't get clients. This is, these are things that you're focused on. Okay, the fifth thing, and this may be, you know, the cause for all the other things, but you don't value your time. Time is the one thing that is the most important thing to everybody. Nobody has enough time. Oprah doesn't have enough time. President Obama doesn't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Yet, I see so many people wasting their day on Facebook. <laughs> or wasting your time doing things that aren't bringing in your income and consistent clients, that aren't speaking to your highest value. Sure, it may be great. You know, you may, you may be going to events and things like that, but are those getting you consistent clients and is that what you're suffering with? We need to focus in on the problem. What, what is the problem? And, and these five things, your story, this whole in and out of free, Low valuing yourself, not having your, your three streams of income, not valuing your time. They all point to one thing. And that one thing is called your personal value. When you don't understand your personal value, all those five things happen. And what that results in? is that you lack the positioning you need to make money and get clients. You get lost in your own story. You know, I see people who have, you, you have a business and you, and you have it put together. It looks great. And the one thing you're missing is your positioning. Positioning transforms everything. It's the place you hold in your mind and in the minds of others. Because you can't position yourself in someone else's mind unless you actually understand what that position is inside your own. Most people don't even realize what positioning is. You know, people talk about branding. I talk about branding. Branding is very important. But you can have a great looking business and brand and if you lack positioning, it's nothing. This is about coming from a place of confidence and personal influence. This is influence within yourself so that you can position yourself from a place of power. So when you approach your entire business and your money story and the way you get clients and the way you position yourself online and in your copy and 
the things that you do, the places that you put yourself and the time that you spent, they all will contribute to you getting consistent clients. When you understand these things, like after this video or below it, I'd like to, to hear what it is that you need to fix and the things that you're going to do to fix it. Because information, you may go, wow, yeah, that's right. And then you go and you go and continue your way. Change doesn't happen unless you make it happen. So, you know, I can't think of something more important for a business owner to focus on than having consistency. Consistency in your finances. That is not the thing you should be worried about. You should be thinking about your growth, about your clients, about how happy you are. So do these things. You know, share this video with a friend. Realize your worth. Understand your positioning. And if you want to listen to or watch a free webinar, you can find that at positioned.totalgenius.net. And check out um, my Discover Your Genius program. It's my signature program. And uh, in Position to Sell, I have, I have two programs. They're for people at different places in your business. But if you, even if you didn't go and hire somebody, you took these five things if you're struggling to get consistent clients. You took those five things and you re-engineered it for yourself. I guarantee you will improve and start your journey to getting consistent money. Have a business, run it like a successful business owner. Just because other people are doing, you know, spending time in Facebook groups and trying to learn for free doesn't mean you should. And if it's not working for you, the only one that's going to tell you that is yourself. So that's it. Come join me at the Genius Collective if you want some help or you know want to engage in the conversation. I'm all about business strategy and helping you understand how to position yourself uh, from the inside out so that you can get clients, make money, and have personal and professional success. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business strategist at TotalGenius.net. Talk to you guys later. Bye.